Hello and welcome back to Observer. Um, yeah, probably the game did not recognize that I've opened all of that, and I'm just checking whether I. Yeah. Maybe. Apparently, I didn't scan any of that. <sighs> so let's do that again. Come on. Uh, where's the computer? Yeah, I'll have to read all of that again. And what I'm interested in is that save over here that I found. Mm, and there are those cables. Those cables. Those. This is what I saw earlier. Electrical switch. Wait. Please stop moving while crouching. Ew. Oh. This is where you get the code. So apparently I made it all out of, of, of order, but... Please don't tell me I have to go to back there again. Because we've dealt with that. God damn it! Yeah. Oh no, you know what? You're coming with me. I'm taking you hostage. Uh here. We go back and there should be a staircase. Back. What the f- I hate this pigeon. Um, wait, I think I went through the staircase. Two, two. There's definitely no staircase here. Yeah. I really hate this place. Pass 201. There is a toilet. Pass 201. Oh. There is a toilet. And here. Damn it. Is a staircase. I don't care about any of this. Just going to the basement <sighs> to visit the phone unit again. Please don't. Because I have no idea why. A real deal? Why leave it here? Hmm. Why? Wait. Don't tell me you started investigating. Um. Yes, there's still that little power thingy. So I... Mm, fuck. Um, I honestly have no idea why the game decided to go on with this basement thingy. If I didn't have a code earlier. Now I can go by the numbers. Indeed. Am I free to go? Thank you. I should remember. Over here, great. So, can I finally get to speak? My man, so ask 
Who is the owner of this tattoo power? I'm fully sure. Wait, that piece. Oh, where he is. Just who I was looking for. Hey, is everything all right? Uh -huh. Don't mind the rain. It burns sometimes. And this helps? <laughs> Not tonight. Do you know who owns the tattoo parlor? Tenant. Uh -huh. What? He lives here? In this building? Where? Jack uh, Garnes, apartment. Do I know? Uh -huh. Second floor. Thanks. Don't get your wires wet. Need to get out. If, well. mm -hmm. if his wires are uh, isolated and good enough, then I guess nothing bad will happen to him. But considering how he looks, I don't think they are. We need to go over here, stick to the, uh, yeah, not the first door here, but the next one. I think this game really doesn't like when you try to run. So there's that. Give me some. Uh, okay. I really appreciate how all Orwell esque this game is to them. Wait, 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 where is to them? Again? Uh, straight ahead. Straight ahead? There, just now oh, over there. All things broken. <sighs> Do you want? made it to Carnos's place? Something doesn't feel right. Need to search the place. I better be on my guard. That's not right. No. Doesn't look like we have any other. Ooh. Any other choice? Because I doubt there's something like this inside the building. I cannot interact with anything, which is sad. But, well, guess this is only hallucination. Really, I'm trying to go the other side. Thank you. Why specialize in augmentation? To go beyond our limits. To realize our true potential. To usher in a new era. 
big words. Some would say it's all about improving the patient's quality of life. So, we need to think bigger than that. Our true goal should be to improve all of mankind. Each subject, a step towards that goal. By subject, do you mean patient? What else would I mean? Or were you being clever about my alleged lack of empathy? Oh, it's really helping. Plug it now. No. Can I do anything with this? like the giant spiders. Um I need to go back and forth a little? It's her, right? I don't know. What the hell did you do to my wife? I don't know. It's not my fault. Mm. You? No. I did not see him suck it. Oh, good. With this. And I cannot access my scan thingy. So radio is dead, right? Just making sure because you never know what it is. Maybe I should plug it again. What? Don't think it could. I don't want to. Inflammation. It's rejecting the implant.
Does anything else you want to show me? Something it's lowering itself and it's not like I can jump. On okay, do this. But I cannot pick it up. And it has some sweet spot. Oh. I have a feeling that we're being hacked. to sneeze. Connected for 16 minutes and 43 seconds real time. 16 minutes? Am I losing it? Already scanned. Focus down. Try to remember. I'm not doing anything. Warning. Abnormal genetic structure detected. This blood doesn't match the victims. Calibrated trace. Calibrating now. Calibration complete. Trace established. Bingo. Am I in control now? Great. Take your meds. Was I really <sighs> like this? Synchrony <sighs> injected. Strain level decreased. Thank you. So this is the doctor that was Synchrosine collected. Going. Well, I guess he was buying those organs. No, he was. Hmm. No, I hope there would be something recorded. Let's check out his computer, of course. Mm, I'm getting worried about the courier. She doesn't seem to be taking the pressure well. She's irrational, prone to bouts of hysterics. I can be certain of the infallible nature of my software, as well as your hardware, but the human element, as always, 
proves to be the weakest link. I wonder what would be more risky, to engage yet another third party or process as we are now. Yes, thank you for the painting. I'll put it up right away. I think I have just a spot for it. Huh. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's showing from under the skin. The thing itches like hell and gets all messy when I touch it. You have to do something. I can't try to work like this. Contact me as soon as you get this message. Hello. I don't know if this message reaches you, but I hope to Christ it does. It took me a while to get a hold of your current address. We have never actually met, but your actions have forever changed my life. More precisely, they have turned it into a waking nightmare. Thus, I want to take this opportunity to show my appreciation. It's been close to two years since the only woman I have ever loved had the unnevable un distinction of being placed under your care. And although she has not and will not recover, her current doctor, an actual doctor, mind you, finally managed to stabilize her enough to make her semi-comfortable. Towards that end, he has also installed a permanent feeding tube where her throat once was. She used to have the most beautiful voice. Not that you care, I have come to know that sociopaths are not moved by the plight of others, even if it's the one of their own making. I was never one to harbor ill will or wish poorly upon others, but when I look at the whole, the front task that was once my wife, I am moved to thoughts and emotions I never thought possible. I have attached a photo to this message. I want you to take a long, hard look and know what that you did this. I wanted to haunt you for the rest of your days. I wanted to remind you that you're nothing but a butcher, a quack, a callous, empty husband. I don't know what hellhole is carried off into, but I hope you die there, and when you do, I hope you rot in hell. Jack, I have always considered you a good friend and mentor. While your teaching methods were sometimes harsh, they also helped me improve as a sergeant. Let me therefore extend the same courtesy to you and be properly frank. There is no way in hell your license could be reinstated. The accusations laid upon you by the council are simply too grave. I use all of my influence to try and get a motion across, but they will simply not budge. Even after all this time, you are still perceived as a pariah, and the patients from you aren't making things easier. Good God. Jack, what were you thinking? To install an untested prototype cla in a class A patient? And for what? Even if it would have worked, you s would still most likely be facing accusations of malpractice. Whatever your motives were, I'm afraid you need to accept the consequences. No documents, no programs, okay. So that's all we've got here. Let's check out his... Cabinets, of course. Nothing. No. And when he oh. had put his hand on mine with a cheerful look, wherefrom I took courage, he brought me within to the secret things. I met someone today. A most welcome new arrival to this hellish place. A kindred spirit. A fellow outcast and a pioneer in his field, shot by the primitive minds and capable of recognizing true greatness. I have decided to aid this young man with his scientific endeavors. I believe he is onto something truly spectacular. Okay, and I believe that's gonna be it for today. So, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.